Hello everyone, and are you ready for another adventure? That's not how we start this. It is the return of To Be Released. That's right, after being gone for so long, you get to see Snake drinking water one last time. I'm going to let the full video play to fully let you in. Uh, I should mention right away, uh, Zen is not here right now because Zenrod still does not play Dokkan. And I don't feel comfortable with um, bringing back Zen to a game that it's, for all intents and purposes, he should stay away from. It's kind of like asking a friend who um, can no longer, has found a way to kick crack. Can you return to crack real quick? And I just can't do that to Zen. So, obviously, also, I'm still in my really bad situation where it's very hard for me to record with Zen. But I still want to kind of talk about Dokkan, and a lot of people have been wanting to be released to return. And by a lot of people, I mean like maybe five people or so. So I'm going to try doing this format for the time being. This way you can get to be released, and the second that my situation gets better and I can get Zen back at some point, um, we're going to go for that. So I have not told Zen any of this. I decided to just do it, but I figured he'd be okay with it. And if not, then I'll stop doing it, I guess. <laughs> but <laughs> I know Zen. He's not going to care. He's like, ah, oh, whatever. We can play Yu-Gi-Oh. That's all that matters to me. So that's the, the basic preamble. So, yeah. Welcome back to To Be Released. Why is To Be Released coming back now of all times? I think the answer should be pretty obvious if you've been paying attention to anything in Dokkan. Um, it's because the next download celebration is looking to be Namek themed, and I absolutely have been wanting Namek ever since they did that, uh, horrible tease to us so long ago. Um, I think it was back when, was it the GT celebration? Where it looked like, oh my god, we're having so many things Namek themed, it's gonna be Namek. And then the Super Saiyan 4 came out, the LR ones, I think, is what happened there. No, it was the fusions, my bad. Not GT. It was the fusions. Sorry, sometimes the disappointing celebrations just kind of march together in my head. And that's how I kind of put both of them there. Uh, not to say the characters are bad. Well, I think nowadays, I think most people agree that the Super Saiyan 4s are not as good as they were at launch. But that's power creep for you, I guess. <laughs> it's just funny that due to easy A's, it's been made a little bit worse for them. But it doesn't matter, same name update and you still win we're using them regardless. Anyway, so the Namek celebration started and I've been watching a lot of people's video excitedly talking about Namek so I figured, hey, I get to talk about Namek because I feel like a lot of people are talking about Namek but they're not necessarily bringing up points of stuff that I liked from Namek so um, let's start with that. First of all, what do I want to see from a Namek celebration? So a lot of people are kind of expecting this to be LR Super Saiyan Goku versus LR Frieza, um, which would make the most sense, to be honest, because that's the high point of the Namek saga. The weird thing is that the daily things don't seem to be building up to that at all. It kind of feels like they're building up to the Ginyu Force when Goku first arrived at Namek and he fought Jace and Birder and Ginyu, um, because if you haven't seen it, it's like day, I think the first day was, yeah, the f day seven, Piccolo was killed, so they need to go to Namek. Day six, they find the ship. Day five, Gohan gets ready to go on board. Day three, Krillin, day four, Krillin goes on board. Um, day three, Bulma's looking nice in her Namek suit. Day two, they're flying. Day one, they reach it but Goku's not with them when they get there. So then the question becomes, what are they actually leading up to? I feel like this is the weirdest part of that not a lot of people are kind of talking about, is that I feel like, I don't know, I feel like in previous download celebrations, the countdown has made sense to what the final units are going to be, so maybe I'm just looking too into it, which is 100% possible. Um... Maybe this is their idea of going, we are entering Namek, and who better to represent Namek than the absolute final dudes? Um, but maybe the way I'm seeing it is maybe we're going to start with units that are not actually them, and the actual anniversary-ass anniversary is going to be the big dudes. It's going to be Super Saiyan Goku and Frieza. 
And uh, what would that mean for the beginning here? I don't actually know because the beginning of Namek is a little bit weird. So we got um, Krillin and we got Go Gohan. I was going to say Goku, but we don't have Goku. We have Krillin, Gohan, and then Vegeta's in the, the back of the tank somewhere kind of healing off. Bulma's trying not to die. Um, and eventually um, did, we have Dodoria, we have Z Zarbon. But none of those characters really... Here's the thing. Dokkan has been very weird la lately. So this is kind of where I'm kind of seeing it in my head. Where it's like, yeah, in the past, the download celebration with, let's say, Zarbon versus Vegeta from Namek sounds dumb. Absolutely dumb. But they just had a download... They just had a celebration where Pecan was one of them. Or Pycon, whatever the fuck. Zen's not here, so I can call him whatever I want. Where he was one of the units. So I kind of feel like... And not to mention that there's a Dokkan Fest Videl. Like, I think they finally kind of dropped the facade that only the hypest of hype characters deserve to be um, Dokkan Fests. Which I'm glad they finally dropped because there's never been a dumber thing in this game than the idea that only the super hype dudes... And even then, I would call into question super hype dudes because Super 17 got a Dokkan Fest, and that automatically kills your credibility. It's the Coco Beware being allowed in the WWE Hall of Fame of Dok of Dragon Ball Z characters that were allowed to become one LRs and two Dokkan Festival <laughs> exclusive characters. Um... The straw that broke the camel's back is what I'm basically saying here. And I'm, like... Putting aside, I guess, my biases towards GT, because I would also kind of put, in general, Super Saiyan 4s. But you can't deny that there's, even if you hate them, that there's plenty of people who like them. Even if it confuses you, it would be silly to say, oh, people absolutely love this. The same way goes for Super. Like, even if you don't like the Tournament of Power, uh, people like seeing Jiren get beat up, and they like UI, and they, I guess, some of them like Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. I feel like the Vegeta fans really like Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, and everyone's like, oh yeah, that's cool too. Vegeta got a moment, because he always needs one, because he's a diva. What was I saying? What was I talking about? So yeah, Namek. Um, that's the main problem with Namek, is that I feel like... <laughs> None of the previous fights leading up to it really are... You have to kind of go with the start of Frieza actually doing things. And actually, one of the ones I would say is kind of Dokkan Fist worthy is Ginyu. Um, but that's a solo. Like, a solo Ginyu would be awesome. But I don't think they're going to be doing a solo Ginyu. Here's basic characters in my mind that are going to be side units versus a actual full-on... Um, Dokkan Festival style, like, main banner, this is why you're pulling. Uh, probably Zarbon, Daedoria, um, Gohan, for sure. Um, Vegeta, 100%. He is a side character. All he does is in that series is kind of just steal the Dragon Balls at one point, but he's really just not the focal point in a lot of ways. He does kind of save Goku once by accident, but he's really more just a dude, agent of chaos, just running around Namek, not really doing things. Um... And then obviously the ones that, and the Ginyu Force as well, they would kind of be side banner units because it's been a very long time since we've had an actual pull, like a pullable SSR version of the Ginyu Force. Like we got the free to play ones, but I would actually prefer it if we had summonable versions of them, but whatever. They would be way better, first of all. Maybe that's why they don't want to do it, because <laughs> they'd be too good. But I digress. Um, in terms of, of people from Namek that I could see as being main Dokkan Festival units, um, hmm, I mean Frieza. Not all his forms, though. I could see them doing a third form, first form, final form, and full power. Those are the kind of Frieza forms. Second form, I feel like, is not really the focal point for a lot of people. Uh, so I don't see them really using it as anything, as maybe, maybe a side banner. There's some other dudes I totally forgot for side banner. Nail. But he's already been used as a side banner unit, so I don't think they're going to do that again. Uh, Piccolo. Specifically, two versions of Piccolo. Um, one, when he is fighting full power Frieza and he's defending himself. And two, when he's fighting third form. Um... I think both of them end up being side units, even though I would really like the idea of them doing a dual Dokkan Fest of <laughs> of uh, Piccolo with Nail-Infused versus third-form Frieza. 
as silly as that sounds. Or did he show? No, he shows up during second, and then third form happens. It'd be a very silly thing to do, so I don't really think they're going to do it. And obviously Goku. I didn't mention Krillin as a side unit, because here's my main thing, which is going to kind of go into what I think the main units end of the celebration end up being, is that if it's a Goku, I don't want him to start as a Goku, is that I want him to start as Krillin. I want him to be an exchange unit, and no matter what, once you take a certain amount of damage, Krillin gets blown up, whatever, and out pops up Goku, and then you do the thing. And it's an exchange ability, and actually at that point it's a little bit tough, because if you want it voiced, you have to do active skill. If it's a force transformation, then you're kind of screwed, and I feel like they really want to do... Actually, no. Mm, I don't know how they're going to do it, because we already have a transformation of Goku getting angry and turning into uh, Super Saiyan. So I don't know if maybe they'll just want to do Goku as Super Saiyan already? It's a really weird situation of what they've got. It was like, there's multiple Super Saiyan Gokus. So I feel like they would kind of want to start them. I guess it doesn't matter as much with the same name to update out there. But still, you kind of do- would, for linking purposes, like him to start as something else. So then he could, in theory, link with other Super Saiyan Gokus. But whatever. Uh, for Frieza, it has to be... If your final one is final form, then I would say it'd have to be a third form going into final form. But if it's full power, then it has to be... Uh, final form Frieza that uh, eventually turns into full power Frieza. That makes the most sense to me. Um, for a side banner unit for um, Goku. And the good thing about this is that there's probably going to be a lot of free to play units. So we're finally probably going to get an SSR version of um, Krillin and Gohan in the Namek suit, which I would really like in the Saiyan armor that they have. Um, the Vegeta in the second set of Saiyan armor that he gets, because he has two forms of it. It's the post-30 fireworks and the, the one he's being buried in as the one I remember it as. Without the crazy shoulder pads. Um, like I said, Piccolo during the saving. So yeah, if there was a one for Frieza, it would have to obviously be Monster Zarbon, because... The only version of that guy is an SR, so you just make him a... But there's also the chance of them just going like, no, it's actually third form Frieza. Because we don't have a third form Frieza that's SSR either. Um, for the hero side though, I would really like it if it was not Vegeta. Because if they're going to do full power uh, Frieza, Vegeta gets smoked really early on in that fight. That's actually what starts it all, is that Vegeta dies, he cries. So unless they want to do a revive unit, but even then, if it was a revive unit, if you're going to do a revive unit, I got smoked and now I'm crying Vegeta, that's a free-to-play unit. That's not an actual banner unit. And I think a lot of people want Dirty Fireworks. Let me just tell you right now, we already have Dirty Fireworks. If they're going to do Dirty Fireworks again, they're just going to reuse it and they're going to put it on a free-to-play card. That's what they're going to do. (laughs) That's the best you're going to get from this situation that I'm calling here. That's what I'm thinking, at least. But I really don't want Vegeta to be the side banner unit for Goku because he's not even, he's not really fighting full power Frieza at all. And I don't think he deserves the spot of being there. He has his moment of telling Goku, hey, bro, you got this. And then he dies and then he comes back and he's like, haha, now we can team up and we got him. And then no, he gets denied because this is not your moment, Vegeta. Stop trying to steal the spotlight. Um... Give someone else. This was an arc before Vegeta stole every single thing in the world. So why would you give it to him in the Dokkan Festival banner as well? I don't know. But yeah. So I think I've been rambling on about this a little bit. But in my mind, the way I want it to go, if it's an LR, I would love it to be either just plain Super Saiyan Goku. Or a a Krillin that dies and turns into a Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, through an exchange or active skill. Whichever one would allow the best looking animation um because i really want that animation of krillin exploding i can't believe we don't have it and i guess a lot of people would say well that's a support memory how are you gonna have a support memory that is just like krillin blowing up and it does something i also think support memories are whack as shit in general so i don't really want them to put cool moments in in that uh category it's fine for like side bits of like haha that's funny but actual good iconic moments no stay the fuck away don't want you anywhere near this and then for frieza i really think it's likely that if they do full power frieza as the main lr that you're going to get a third form frieza as the side banner unit but if he's 
if he's if he does not transform into a full power Frieza and he's actually someone who's like the final form, then I'm gonna say that it's gonna be final form Frieza, uh, a third form Frieza that transforms into final form and then uh, like a Zarbon or a Daedoria as an SSR unit at the side. And there's no reason they can't do both of them, but I really feel like also. Zarbon and Daedoria is going to get kind of sidelined into a free-to-play status, but we'll have to wait and see on that one. Um, I, the only reason I'm thinking of it is just because the way that most modern people, they don't look at it in the scope of how the Namek Saga was done. They look at it as a whole. So when you look at Zarbon and Daedoria, they are lesser Ginyu. So why not just put Ginyu there? instead of them because Ginyu was actually the one who's actually subordinate to Frieza um, and I think that ends up being a little bit weird but maybe what the new way Dokkan is where who they care less maybe a Dokkan festival celebration Zarbon is totally possible I would love it I think it'd be cool but hey who knows so yeah that's my basic thing that I wanted to talk about for uh, Namek Saga that's the main thing going up we should know, let me see, the celebration, I believe, starts on the 28th or 27th. So two hours before the stream goes up, um, Dokkan should do a download celebration, because a download all, and then we'll just know because there's no way that they're actually going to save it until <laughs> the, the, the stream itself. You're silly if you think that uh, Dokkan has learned anything. They don't care. Who cares? No one looks at the... Only a very dedicated few look at all the leaks for Dokkan. Um, and the wider player base doesn't care, so... I don't know. Just do it. I don't understand people getting angry at like, Oh, I'm gonna be so angry if they reveal it early. I don't... I don't I'm not. I don't fucking care. Have you ever seen Japanese streams? They suck. <laughs> they... They're terrible because it's like... 50 minutes of them going, uh, yes, let's play games and talk. Okay, let's talk about other Dragon Ball Z things that you should totally be buying. And then the final five minutes, here's the animation, here's when it's going to come out, here's some details of the celebration, goodbye, see you next time, and then we're done. Boring. Boring as shit. Don't try and act of like, oh, I'm going to be so excited for that one minute, please. No, it's a shitty reason why you should not want to download, but whatever. If you really care about not knowing, get yourself off of Twitter or whatever. There's totally ways for you to avoid it. You just need to leave Twitter for the entire day. Ah, oh, man. Um, also, don't ask me about these categories. The Namek category fucking sucks ass. It is unbelievable. It is in a terrible state of... I just wanted to quickly run down the units that are in Namek Saga just real quick before the anniversary they're gonna need to do some work to make this category not complete shit so you got Frieza soldier in all colors in the N N rarity which is I think normal or something you got uphole and you got Kui cool now we go into the R's here we have uh, Krillin we have three nails we have Yo uh, not a Yamcha that's a Bulma uh, all the Ginyu Force members are here along with Kui and Daedoria and Zarbon. Two Zarbons actually. All in um, R. That's a rarity. Now we go into SR. Okay. Now we have the Namek Suit Gohan. And two more nails. A Goku. Another Goku. The one who blasts off um, Jace and uh, Birder. Which I can't believe there's not another version of this animation. Because it's really cool when he does it. Maybe there will be a free to play version of him or something. Because I really like that move. But whatever. We have third form Frieza. And then we have the other forms of the Ginyu Force. Two Captain Ginyus and Int. Back in the day, Dokkan did not give a shit. They were like, whatever. Captain Ginyu gets two Ints because he's intelligent. Go to hell. Um, first form Frieza, two first form Frieza, three first form Frieza, a second form Frieza, a Kui, Dodoria, Zarbon, uh, uh, Captain Ginyu, Goku. And that is the SR for Namek Saga. Killer's Row. Now we're going into the SSRs. And maybe for this purpose I should go to the TORs because they're going to be the same. Um, but I think the only major difference here is that this is where we get Loser Frieza from the Celebration and Winner Goku. 
that's basically it. But they're not units, they're trophies at best. And we have the, oh, look at all these great fireworks, Frieza. We have that one too. Oh, we already have a Piccolo fuse with Nail, so I don't think that will be possible for it to do Doka. I forgot that we had one of these, Jesus Christ. So anyway, in the SSR version, we actually do have the Nail fused Piccolo. We have Nail, as in the T-U-R. We have Angry as Hell, uh, uh, Final Form Frieza. We have two of them, actually. One in AGL, one in Int. We have all the Ginyu Force members, which are all getting easy A's. Um, we have the Dirty Fireworks Vegeta. We have the I'm Angry Gohan. Uh, we have the TUR of this Super Saiyan Goku that I think is from the World Tournament. Yes, it is. So we have him. Uh, Jesus. We have another TUR of um, the, free, the Final Form Frieza here. He, but he's STR. Uh, second Form Frieza. Full Power Frieza, the physical version. This training and refreshing Goku and Kaioken. That's it for TURs, basically. And then finally for LRs, we have four! Two of them are Captain Ginyu, one with Goku's body. The other one is Full Power Frieza and First Form Frieza. And obviously we also have Super Saiyan Goku, the TUR, who is the leader of this category, so to say. And um, Angry Kid Go the Gohan who gets his potential unleashed. Um, I, who I totally forgot, even though I was looking him dead in the face. Oh, there is one Frieza I forgot to do, who is doing the iconic Frieza pose, the one that turns into Golden Frieza, which is just dumb. Because it also means Golden Frieza is on the Namek category, which is just stupid. Another one I meant I, I, should, I don't mention, even though they start there, is the Transforming Friezas. And I don't see them getting easy A's, because they are not actually from the Namek Saga. They're, they're there up until the final pose. But they are not Namek Saga, so I don't see them. Um, I don't see them getting an easy A during this celebration because they're not from Namek. Buffing them would not help buff Namek in any way, shape, or form because they're not from fucking Namek. So unless they want to buff them by putting them on Namek, it is pointless to give them a buff during a Namek celebration. I think they definitely need them because they're kind of weak sauce nowadays. But I don't think they'll get an easy A. An easy A for this. At best, I, honestly, I think the only categories of the units here that would get an easy A, besides the, all the Ginyu Force who are getting easy areas, which don't count in my eyes, is the Super Saiyan Goku, who is a Dokkan Fest, and the LR Full Power Frieza. Those are the two that I can see getting easy A's during this. And maybe actually the other two Ginyus, because I don't remember them saying if um, Goku Ginyu and Ginyu Force Ginyu would be getting easy A's, but I assume they are. It'd be kind of stupid if they didn't, but whatever. Yeah, Namek Saga is in such a bad shape, man. You don't need... They can't fix this category with one. With one go. They need to do full-on, like, so much shit to make this category better. It's not even funny. There's so much that they need to do. It's such a mismanaged and ill-populated... Like I said, there's no SSR version of Zarbon or Daedoria. None of them. We don't even have SSR versions of them... of Krillin and Gohan. There's no SSR Namek Krillin. Come on. There's no TUR of them either, but whatever. <sighs> There's a lot riding on the celebration. I hope it does good, but yeah, I think that's it in terms of the Namek Saga. Now, before I end this, I am going to have to uh, add someone to the big boy scale because I forgot that I totally had to do that. So I am going to be adding someone to the big boy scale. Um... This is only on the me side. Maybe before each recording when I'm doing these solos, I will ask Zenrot what he feels about a unit being on the big boy scale, and then he can give me a number. That way I can keep... <laughs> I'm going to start a segment called Messages from Zenrot, and he can tell me how he feels about this current situation in Dokkan and give me his thoughts on it. Uh, I'll see what I, well, I'll see what I do. But obviously, the first return on the big boy scale... It's Videl. We're going to have to add Videl in there, both in the pigtails and the um, short hair. Amazing. Defender of Justice leader, Peppy Gals. Now, a lot of people seem to be saying, well, either she's the best unit or she's the worst unit because of her link skills. Um, uh, let me tell you right now, I'm not going to take any of those into account. I don't give a fuck what she does. I don't give a fuck what her link skills are. This is a 10 out of 5 big boy. Two fives for the two girls that are inside this unit. You got everything. You got fucking pigtail. 
And then Gohan's in the back going, oh, you should cut your hair. And then you have Gohan post-cut. He's like, oh my god, you cut your hair. And then Videl's like, yes, I did. Deal with it. And he does. And she also got like different boots on. It's a completely different girl at this point. And Peppy Gals, I, there's no denying this is a 10 out of 5. Mm-hmm. I will hear no other uh, arguments about it uh, next week. When or whenever I do one of these again, or maybe I won't do another one of these again, <laughs> depending on reception. Um, I'll ask Zen what he feels about Videl, and uh, we'll add that to the big boy scale. But yeah, that's basically it. Thank you, everyone who watched this solo to be released. It has been over a year, um, which is insane to think about that we've been gone for that long and. Again, I never forget about anything. We will always continue stuff. It's just finding the right time. So hopefully this is the right moment to bring back to be released. But if nobody likes it, then I'll stop doing it. But if you do like it, you can just support your your you can support me either by leaving a like, which is the easiest way for me to know if you like something, or leaving a comment, which tells me that you like it, which would works for me too. Uh, and I will work on the format from here on out. This was kind of a spur of the moment. I want to talk about this. Let's do this. So till next time, everyone. I wish you all a good day, and remember, don't play Dokkan, because if you do play Dokkan, you go to hell before you die, and that's no good. Bye-bye.